Very good evening to you with Sports World. I'm Damien Best. Well, Ghana Jaguars have a lead of 188 runs after they bowled out Barbados Pride for 360 in their first innings on day three of the regional four-day championship at Kensington Oval. Jonathan Carter scored 68, inclusive of nine fours, while Shane Dorich hit 81 with 11 fours and two sixes. Spinner for Sammy Permal, he took four for 124. Now, earlier, Barbados resumed the day on 33 for one, in reply to Ghana's 548 all out with Craig Bathwick and Captain Shamar Brooks at the crease. CBC Sean Green reports on the pre lunch session. Pestano in the morning to Shamar Brooks, pitched up and whipped beautifully off his legs. That's an early four to get going. This is Craig Bathwick with a classical cover drive. That's a beautiful shot that brings him four runs. First Sammy Permal to Brooks, nice touch. That one races down to third man for another boundary for the Barbados Spray team. Next ball whipped away through Whitish mid on. An aggressive shot that brings four more. Craig Braffitt driving down the ground. Elegant shot that brings four more runs to the Barbados and West Indies opener. Brooks reached 34 before Permal had him caught at slip by Leon Johnson. 106 for two. This brought out Jonathan Carter and he got going, driving handsomely through the cover point region, leaving the fielder to fetch that one. But Pestano became a real pest for Bradford, wrapping him on the pad on the back foot. Of, up goes the finger of the umpire. He's gone for 43, 118 for three. Roston Chase looking to cut this one, but only found the nick. Caught for one off the bowling of Permal. Carter was still there. Here he is driving Pestano through the covers gloriously for another four. But a few balls later, same shot behind point this time. That races away for four. Shane Dowrich lifting this one over mid on to get his account open. That's a safe shot that brings him four runs. Carter reaching for this one and slapping it through the cover point region. That's his fifth boundary. Dorrit stands tall and punches this one through point once more. And once it gets past the point fielder, then it's a boundary for sure. Christopher Barnwell digging to Dorrit, pulling this one through mid wicket, kept down as it races away to the ropes. Sheffield and Rutherford doing the same thing against Dorrit. Really not sure what he was expecting, but maybe the bowlers like to see the pull shot that slapped away with some power. Dorrit was severe on the medium piercer, slapping Barnwell in front of point this time for a not a man move shot. Why should they? And offside field set, but the bowler slow and short, pulled away by Carter, terrible bowling to the field. And Carter didn't mind that, as the Pride went to lunch at 164 for four. Sean Green, CBC Sports. Well, thanks, Sean. Ghana will begin their second innings tomorrow. The live coverage of that fourth and final day, of course, will be on radio station 94.7 FM from 10 a.m. Further field bad light delayed India's push to win the fourth test against Australia on day four in Sydney. The Aussies were eventually bowled out for 300 in reply to India's 622 for seven declared. Kuldeep Yadav was the pick of the Indian bowlers with five for 99 of 31.5 overs. Now forced to follow one for the first time at home in 31 years. Australia will resume on six without loss, still 316 runs behind. Meantime, South Africa needed just 9.5 overs to score the runs required for victory against Pakistan on day four of the second test in Cape Town today. Chasing 41, the Proteas finished on 43 for one to secure the nine-wicket win, which gave them an unassailable 2-0 lead in the three-match series. Scores in that contest, Pakistan 177 and 294, South Africa 431 and 43 for one. And finally, Chef Craig, Station Hill Cavaliers and Burger King Capone Bulls registered opening night victories in the under-23 next-gen basketball tournament at the BCC Gym. The Cavs crushed Mr. H in Vest Warren's 78-46, while the Bulls escaped to fight back from Barbados Public Workers Credit Union Bay to win 74-70. Station Hill Cavaliers in fluorescent green taking on Warren Sports Club. First points of the contest credited to Zachary Caves. Silky smooth with the triple from upstairs had 13 points in this one. Warren Sports Club with the answer. Initial penetration finds Khalid Bailey. Corner pocket two. But the Cavs were up by as much as 15 at the halfway stage. Joel Hunt 
calling for it. Prime time candidate, Monster Jam. Cavs 34, Warrens 19. Second half business now, Warrens go to man with Jonathan Dotton. Not only on the offense, but on the defensive end as well. Get that weak stuff out of here. Looks even better in slow motion. Dotton had 14, and this guy backed him up with 10. Anton Lawrence, mid-race jumper, nothing but net. However, the chips would not fall in Warren's favor as Cavs led by Anna Joseph Thorne with 17 and other contributors from the starting five would give the Cavs the 78 to 46 victory. In the second matchup, the Bay in green clashing with Clapham Bulls. Shaquan Carrington, jumper, nicely done, had 14. Justin Powell earned his points the hard way for the Bay. The putback heads up play contributed 14 as well. Then the point size point guard, Simeon Maynard, showing his handles, shakes two, then drills the J, team high 19. But the Bulls were in cruise control at the halfway point, up by 10, 42 to 32. Things looking bright for the second half. In the third quarter we go, the Bay outscored the Bulls, 18 to 16. Maynard, hand in his face, still drops. Then Powell turns the corner, straight down, broad straight for the flush. The crowd loving it. But the Bulls would maintain their composure. Fast break, two on one, service on a platter, easy two. Then add a couple more from the left wing. The coach will be pleased. Take nothing away from the Bay. They finished the game positively, but the Bulls would eventually pull away to win this one narrowly, 74 to 70.